Hi there, students. Hanky Panky. Well, Hanky Panky is dubious behaviour. Yeah? Is something that's dishonest or corrupt. Something maybe you disapprove of. They particularly use this phrase hanky-panky to talk about sex. So I think John and Julia have disappeared for some hanky-panky. Yeah? Okay. So you can use it for sex. You can also use it for other things where there is dishonesty or corruption. So there's some financial hanky-panky. Questionable. Um immoral, dishonest, improper. Yeah? Um, let's see if there is some hanky-panky from the government when they start to make the laws. So something that's maybe dishonest or not quite above board. But like I've said, um, hanky-panky is most commonly used for sex. Yeah, they're up to some hanky-panky. It doesn't say exactly what they do. It's some undefined sexual activity. But especially if it's um, illicit or underhanded. Yeah, so hanky-panky, there may be some infidelity going on. Okay, um, so either activity that's dishonest and corrupt, but not seriously so. Not something that's really, really bad. Something minor. Some minor hanky-panky. Um, I think we very often use the verb, the phrasal verb, to be up to, to be doing. Yeah. So they're up to some hanky-panky. The kids are up to some hanky-panky. They're doing something naughty. I don't know what they're doing, but they're definitely up to some hanky-panky. Yeah? The, those two disappeared suddenly f from the party, and I suspect they're up to some hanky-panky. Yeah? Okay, so, hanky-panky. Um, apparently, this phrase was first coined by Punch, in 1841, Punch is a magazine, to mean trickery. So the meaning is still the same, yeah? So, hanky-panky, sexual activity, particularly if it's illicit or questionable. And then uh, for other activities, something that's naughty, something that's wrong, something that people might disapprove of, yeah? Um, Hanky panky. There you go. Anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hanky panky.